Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for the month of August. This is going to cover love and wealth and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys are like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And also, guys, I have my big announcement is I have... Uh, mentorships uh, teaching tarot so if you guys are interested in signing up for my mentorship all the information is in the description box below for you to sign up and I have been reading cards this has literally been 14 years old so I have a lot to teach you guys so get ready for this it's gonna be six weeks long um, live classes all right so Libra we're gonna be looking at love and wealth and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in so what's gonna have my Libra's romantic love life give me nine cards for my Libra's romantic love life give me nine cards for my Libra's career and finance for the month of August show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to Okay, so this is going to be the beginning of August. This is going to be the middle of August. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom of the deck too as well. Okay, so someone has, oh, and isn't that interesting? Um, the song that I literally heard before, uh, right as I was starting your video, was a Britney Spears song. Uh, baby, don't you wanna dance on on it? Yeah, and then we got this King of Wands, and then I'm wondering, <laughs> you know, you know what they're trying to get out of here? It's something passionate. Okay, so there's definitely someone that's very, um, very passionate about you. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going here. First of the month here, first of the month here. So there is someone who's taking a lot of romantic gestures towards you. They're a little bit hesitant, but they're coming forward. And they are uh, trying to do things for you, take you out places, okay? Or just trying to be there for you. That's, the, that's a knight in shining armor kind of energy. There is a, definitely a love interest right there with the knight of cups. So let's see more information about this. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. All right. What's going to happen to my Libra's romantic love life? Give me nine cards to my Libra's romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Libra's career and finance for the month of August. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Wow, this is quite a surprise. This person could surprise you with something here, okay? With a surprise card, uh, trying to be romantic for you. Okay, let's keep going. What's going to happen to my Libra's romantic love life for the month of August? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here. Yeah, they're trying to do this to try to bring things into balance with you, all right? They're trying to be patient. You see they're a little bit standoffish there with that Knight of Cups energy, but yeah, let's keep going. What's gonna happen by Libra's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Libra's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for Libra's Career and Finance for the month of August. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so also what I heard was flowers. So I feel like this person's going to bring you some kind of flowers, present you with some type of gift to try to surprise you. Um, yeah, because there's something growing between you and this person. So we see there's something growing between you and a person. They want to try to heal a situation, bring it into balance, make sure there's an equal give and take. You're going to be quite surprised about how romantic this person's going to be with you. Okay, so we got this Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here coming in as well. We see that there's someone. <laughs> what I hear is something about smoke and mirrors. Okay, smoke and mirrors. Okay. And they want to speak with you, speak a truth. They want to speak to you about travel. Okay. And you're massively shocked and surprised. Tower card energy. Because you're like, wow, that's quite generous. Okay, this could be one and the same person here. 
So it looks like you're going to be presented with some type of gift. Yeah, that makes sense too because flowers for Lenormand symbolizing wise, it can represent a gift, an invitation. Okay, um, but you are receiving something of, of someone who's trying to give. And also this from my deck is like the Six of Pentacles energy which is a giving energy. So there's something growing here in a connection. There's a lot of great changes here. Um, you're starting to see the signs of the situation. This person doesn't want to go anywhere. They're just sticking to this situation. Um, and they're wanting to bring you along. It looks like they're gonna speak to you about bringing you along or going along with them for some type of travel here. Okay, so let's keep going. You are indecisive about what to do. now. Some of you guys, case scenario, this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, Gemini Libra Christ energy could represent two different people because you're, you're at a crossroad. You're not sure what path to go. You're like, I should go this way. Should I go that way? I don't know. So let's see what that's about. Um, so there's a lack of commitment or indecisive about a, a commitment, a contract, um, a marriage. Um, this is like the ring card energy, which represents some type of commitment. So indecisive about a commitment, engagement, or marriage. Okay, so, yep, we got the ring card double clarifying there about some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage. And it looks like you guys are focused on what you want or manifesting your dreams. Okay, and this person wants to help you with that. Okay, so we see, I want to be clear cut here, guys. So let's break it down. Okay. Okay, I want to bring things into balance. You're massively shocked and surprised about this commitment. I want to help grow this situation. I want to be generous to you and help you to manifest your dreams. You're surprised about this travel towards some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage, or towards this commitment, this commitment to travel. I want to speak with you. I want to speak to you. Um, I want to be romantic with you. I want to do things for you. And I want to speak to you th about this truth because I'm concerned about these indecisions that you have with me. So it seems to me this person really is also, this is not two people, there's one particular person that's really concerned about helping you out, helping uh, this thing move forward, trying to give to the connection, wanting to, to grow, um, seeing a lot of changes around this, seeing a lot of growth here. Okay, so let's keep going. Middle of the month here. Oh, Hierophant does... For me, when I see Hierophant in a personal reading, marriage is involved somehow. Okay, so if some of you guys... And I know you're going to come at me in the comments, but uh, marriage is one of those things that just for me, the Hierophant represents some type of commitment, contract, or marriage, okay? Uh, or some type of long-term commitment, some kind of traditional commitment. How can I be honest with you about this? I need things to go in my favor. And you get some kind of knowledge about this. You're like, well, I don't know. Maybe I just want to be single and available to pursue. I want to have a sense of independence here. I want to do my own thing. And there's some massive changes coming in. Because you're a little bit cautious about the whole thing. And you're wanting to clear the air. Okay, I feel like this person's trying to force the issue into a, some kind of long-term commitment. And I get this sense you guys are uncertain about it. Okay, so let's keep going. There's a lot of overanalyze. I need to slow things down. I really need to figure this out. Knight of Pentacles energy. I want to talk with you about this. I have a conversation about these delays and challenges. How can we overcome this? I want this ideal situation. All right. I want to manifest what I want here. Let's bring it all together. Something is growing. Someone's really giving a lot to move things forward, to go towards what they want, their dreams. And it looks like there's a lot of giving, a lot of energy being put into this to kind of lead the other person that way. And you're getting knowledge about this and you're wanting to clear the air and bring some things to light. Um, when it comes to being protective, not seeing the forest before the trees, uh, feeling like there's still the sense of 
not seeing all the answers here. I feel like, I know we're talking about magic and manifestation here on this card, but what I feel from this card is this, this lone wolf here is in the darkness and there's a lot of things covering you know what's going on and when you're when you're in the moonlight compared to the sunlight you're seeing some stuff but you're not seeing all the answers so you're wondering like what's this person doing it's almost like a, almost like a type of manipulation going on okay so let's keep going here so by the end of the month you feel like your ships are coming in you're like okay things things that I've been waiting for are now coming forward there's a happy, joyful energy, and it looks like you're doing some socializing, you're going out, you're having a good time. There is someone who's trying to assert themselves so they can take charge of the situation. And, uh, you know, there's a, a wish and a hope uh, for some kind of acceptance of this. This person's like, you're hurting me, I feel heartbroken and sad. I'm crying over you. And then you're like, oh, I don't want to be used here. And I'm looking at my options or something about people involved when it comes to love. Okay, so you're having a hard time accepting the way this is when it comes to this love connection. Now, it could be because of this person trying to push up and say, hey, you know, I really want a long-term commitment. You really want to lock it down. You know, I really want to, you know, do this. But it's like, still, you're kind of like, you're not certain about this. Maybe you feel like this person's kind of manipulating you and kind of like forcing you in a situation by like giving you stuff and like, here you go, I want to do this for you, I want to do this for you, I want to do this for you, and you kind of feel like this person's trying to uh, force the issue, right? And they want you to accept this love situation, but I can see here that uh, you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to deal with this right now. You see how the person's like, kind of like, I'm gonna step out of this, I just, I'm not certain, don't try to push this on me, kind of energy. Cause, uh, and there you go, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is showing me that you guys by the end of the month are like, all right, should I give my love to this person or not? Who do I want to give my love to with the Queen of Cups energy? Because something that's been coming coming in at the end of the month, there's something that's coming in at the end of the month that's something that you've been waiting for, okay? Uh, it has to do with some kind of regrets, someone from the past possibly, we see the regrets card energy, or you're concerned if you accept this love offer from this person, this offer from this person, you may regret it. And so you guys are taking some time to kind of reflect and looking at the situation because you know your value and your worth. You're looking down, you're seeing yourself as a swan. You're like, okay, I, I know what I'm worth. I know my value, my worth. And also the other reason could be for some of you guys, there could be somebody, this person could still be in a marriage, okay? Cause I'm telling you the Hierophant card is representing a marriage and I've seen it in multiple personal readings over the years. So it, and. Uh, so anyway, so for some of you, it could be because of that war, they're trying to force the issue and make you uh, commit long term, and you're just not sure. Okay, so we see that there is uh, this growing situation. You're gaining some knowledge of some kind of acceptance. You know, someone's trying to give to the situation, um, and we see that there's a wanting to clear the air when it comes to love. I want to manifest my dreams. I want this situation, and there's some. Seems like there is a, a want or wanting an ideal situation or someone's trying to enchant somebody, somebody's trying to manipulate the situation. And so I need to think about this, okay. Okay, so let's keep going. I want to bring things into balance. I want an equal give and take when the timing is right. I'm trying to assert myself. You're massively shocked and surprised and cautious because of people. There's this commitment, engaging our marriage, and delays and challenges because of regrets. Concerns about regrets. Okay. Looking at the bottom of the deck, I want to heal the situation. Spiritually, you're, you're, you're hearing some, like, you know, getting some spiritual signs there. There's some family conflict and some obsessions and communicating about making the effort and letting you know you're the wise decision for me. I want to make you happy. But there's stress and worry about these romantic feelings. Okay. And here you can even see, if I see there's a surprise coming in. This is a lack of honesty and we see people are involved. This can represent a group of people, okay, like the garden card energy, more than one person involved with this. 
Uh, it's like I'm lying to this person about the sense of happiness. We see travel, movement, or change, massive change here. Um, I don't want to just be of service to someone to some kind of marriage or commitment. I want to have a conversation with this. And uh, something you've been waiting for is coming in. So we see there's some romantic gestures and we see um, movement towards some kind of marriage or commitment. Something you've been waiting for. We see a truth being spoken about, the sense of independence, isolation or separation, and a sense of heartache. I'm at a crossroads. I really want to analyze this action. I want to go a little bit slower until I figure out what I want to do emotionally. So you can definitely see that there's this, this person's like, you're making me sad, you're making me upset uh, uh, because things are going so slow and you're like at the end of the month, you're like, I just really want to figure things out. And the different signs that are involved with the situation potentially could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice from my Libras when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need for the month of August. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look at this Libra. When I get to know new people, I accept their actual traits rather than the ones I project on them. Same goes for not so new people I already know. Acceptance is a delicate art. You're going to have to take the initiative here to put some boundaries up. Okay, this is it, it's definitely the roles in this situation for some of you Libras is not reversed. So it's definitely this person's trying to force the issue and you uh, need to put some boundaries, restrictions up. I claim my right to a healthy boundaries and allow others to do the same. Because you know your self-worth. You can give this person the benefit of the doubt and, and not take it so seriously. Um, you have blessings coming in and you can be compassionate, but you know you're a good catch and that you have options here, okay? You know you're a good catch and you have options. And what's the bottom of the deck saying? Meeting new people. I remind what a treasure it is, treasure trove of options and interests and stories they are. But these treasures will only be unlocked if I embrace my curiosity. So for some of you guys, there could be a situation where, as I said, I see it two different ways for, for multiple Libras here. Um, this person may still be married, seeing that they're single and available to pursue and trying to manipulate the situation, okay? And then others of you, this person's trying to force the issue. You maybe you're not as interested in them as maybe as you'd like. Um, so I can see it two different ways here, but uh, definitely um, you know what the situation is with this person and you're gonna have to take the initiative to lay your line in the sand and say what you can accept and what you can't accept about this situation. And, um, and know that you can have compassion here, but you are a good catch and you have options. So knowing you're a good catch, knowing you have options, and uh, if this person is still married to someone else, then definitely you don't want to accept a situation where they're not going to give you their full attention. So, but of course, guys, I always tell you, you have free will. Okay, I'm only here as guidance. So, um, you have to do what you feel is best for you. Okay, listen to your heart, follow your intuition. You know what's best for you. I know this is a very complex, layered situation for you guys. I'm sorry that this is the case this month for you guys. Um, but you can navigate the waters here. You do have options. Your ships are coming in by the end of the month and you will have options here. So you can really decide on what you feel is best for you emotionally with the Queen of Cups energy being there. Okay, so let's move in. And you go wanna hear, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? I do love hearing from you guys, okay? All right, so we got the Lover's Card for Career and Finance. We got the Ten of Swords. And we got the Page of Pentacles. So this is the first half of August here. Okay, so some of you guys are getting involved with some kind of partnership or you're definitely seeing eye to eye with somebody on some ideas. This is actually helping you to overcome some kind of ruination of plans or a tough cycle. And as a result, you're getting some kind of good news here coming in, Page of Pentacles energy. Something of value is being presented here. 
So you start out being a bit stuck or stagnant or complacent here. But we see there's some transactions or some buying or some selling going on here or something to do with buying, selling, transactions. Or you're kind of like, all right, you know, I made some foolish mistakes and now I'm moving forward. Yes, there's money coming in. Good news about money coming in. Okay, so you're attracting uh, uh, definitely some good choices here. And a miracle is about to present itself and you're going to see some changes. And you're about to be very happy. So as you start out that way, but you're moving into some great stuff here. Okay, so let's see. So an opportunity is presented. Ace of Wands. And we see that you guys are really getting on schedule. You're really being strict with yourself. Uh, because you're like, wow, there's a new beginning here. A new offer, a new creative endeavor. And you're getting answers and clarity here about it. Uh, so you're concerned about losing it or taking away or some kind of loss. So you're taking control of this situation. And you're like, okay, wow, that's definitely mirroring your romantic love life here. You're looking at your options, Seven of Cups energy. And you're like, wow, I have a sigh of relief here. I got options. And you're like, I really have more power than what I realize. Something has come to light. I got to face some stuff here around this situation, but I'm going to get through this. Okay, so, so far, you're attracting some really good stuff to you, okay? Big miracles coming in, happiness around a conversation, massive changes, new beginning around a leadership or boss, or you guys are deciding to do your own business here with the leadership card, or you're just gaining control over the situation, but you are going to be in a power position here. Luck is on your side. We got the dragon card. So a truth is spoken with the Queen of Swords energy about this new beginning and fresh start, child card energy. And yeah, you're moving towards success here by the end of the month. You're like, all right, I'm almost there. You are defending your position. So there may be something about this new offer, this new beginning that maybe you're kind of like, all right, I got to work some things out here. Because you're concerned about some kind of sadness here with this situation. And so you're navigating the waters and kind of figuring out, okay, do I want to go down this direction or do I want to go down this direction with it? Okay. So you're giving it some thought with the Four of Swords energy, focusing on your long-term plans, and you're getting some kind of knowledge here with the Book Card energy. Now, some of you guys, you know how when you get certain jobs or you do certain things, you kind of have to educate yourself on it. Like, for instance... When I, when I was doing accounting and I was going for my CPA, I had to get a certification, right? The CPA certification when I was an accountant. So it looks like this new situation, this new uh, potential offer here is the reason why you're needing to defend your position. You're feeling like a little bit mm, by the end of the month here is because it looks like you have to learn something. And you're giving it some time. You're taking a break and you're kind of focusing on the long term here. Yeah, because it looks like to me that you have to activate something and, you know, you're going to have to go around in circles a little bit with this situation around this. Okay, so, but it's saying you have success, you got happiness, there's miracles coming in, you do gain power and control of your situation. But I'm just going to go a little further with what's going to happen here. Okay, so you're really thinking about this soul searching because uh, you're going to have to put some energy into this. And this is making you feel a little bit stuck or stagnant, a little bit in the middle here. So there is some contemplation or some advice you're being given about stability and stableness for our wands. There's a massive change happening here with the tower card energy. Ah, okay. All right, so you've got some advice from someone. Someone gives you some good advice around the stability, stableness, all right, this solid foundation. And this advice actually is going to, what's going to change things and bring you a sense of happiness. Or this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is going to help you somehow to bring some changes around this. So don't worry, okay? This little situation here where you have to learn something, you have to figure something out, you'll navigate the waters because you're going to get some, there's going to be a helpful energy coming in. Okay, so we see. You're attracting some new beginning success. We see miracles and leadership, uh, gaining control, maybe taking on more of, uh, of more responsibilities here. You're navigating the water. There's a sense of happiness and a uh, lots more power. There is some things that you have to uh, take actions on, though. We see. Okay. So we hear this, we get, you start out with this kind of stuck and stagnant, complacent energy because of restrictions and boundaries with this new situation. 
you're like, I mean, uh, you know, um, you purchase something, um, you're buying something, or um, you had the sense that you made some foolish mistakes, and there's a loss of sadness because of a lot of money, okay? A lot of money's coming in, and you're having a sigh of relief, and we see there's something about learning, knowing, or gaining some kind of knowledge here. And also with that particular card, it also could be speaking about having to spend money for some kind of class or certification as well. So, um, so let's see. There's this partnership. There's this choice that you're making about this new offer, offer opportunity, this creative endeavor. And this truth, uh, Gemini, Libra, Christ energy, you're ending a tough cycle. You're getting clarity, but you're having to defend your position when it comes to this potential uh, new beginning good news. So you're confused about what to do, and you're looking at your options, and you're thinking about it. But as I told you guys, you're going to overcome this. You're going to resolve it. Just grabbing some water there. All right. Let's get you guys some advice. Let me get you guys some advice real quick. All right, so can I advise for my Libras? Career and finance for the month of August. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, um, so don't let your emotions run away with you here on this situation that you're going to re reach some kind of conclusion here. You're going to be able to see the forest before the trees. And when you do, take the action. You've got to be practical about this. The en energy will gain your momentum, but you've got to give yourself some time to recover from this. Understand that luck is on your side and that you are good enough. And there is a new start coming. As I told you guys, there is a new start coming. But... Don't let your emotions run away with you here. Communication will be the key to your situation. You're going to have a win-win outcome when it comes to this decision, okay? And which is exactly what I saw. Maybe by the end of the month, you're going to be in that state of, okay, i got to really think about this. Do I want to accept this situation because I'm a little bit confused about this and you're going to have to defend your position. But it looks like this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, this feminine energy in, or this divine feminine energy is going to uh, come in and be like, all right, either give you some advice or they're going to be the, the, the person that's going to help you navigate the waters to bring some changes toward your happiness. Okay, so let's move into what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you. What does Libra know, need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that can help them with their situation? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this month, uh, don't expect your plans to go the way you expect it to, okay? So, and this is all being prepared and having a strategy that you're going to be given some signs, okay? So pay attention to the signs that you're going to be given. Possibly in this month, you also want to let something grow or you want to focus on your creativity. You're going to have to make some kind of decision here, and you have to accept that there were some foolish uh, mistakes. You're accepting your follies and you're finding teachings in them. Take some time out to play and follow your dreams and clear out the clutter. Because if you're determined, Libra, you're going to get there. Because it's telling me that abundance is going to be provided for you. You just have to surrender to the, the situation and own your power because you have to trust in your higher self because you know what's best for you. So I feel like what it's trying to say to me, for, for you guys, is it's showing me that sometimes in life we get thrown curveballs, okay? And it's how we internalize those curveballs that um, allows us to be internally strong, okay? So what do I mean by that? As long as you're happy internally, and as long as you have peace within your heart, nothing can bother you and disturb you. 
and no matter what has been is going to be thrown at you, you know, because obviously the plans aren't going to go together the way you expect it to, and you have to prepare for this, and you're going to see some signs about it, and it, it looks like to be more or less the career and finance situation. Um, it's not saying that you don't have to be happy. You can be happy at any time. We all have the ability to be happy within ourselves and to enjoy the moment. Think about when you were a child. When you were a child, you didn't think about, oh my God, I gotta pay bills, or I gotta do this, or I gotta do that. Oh my God, I can't believe this isn't working out, that isn't working out. Children really, they, they let things go very fast. So it's like they'll get hurt, and then like two minutes later, you see them smiling, laughing, and having a good time. So when it comes to this month, you have to understand that you're you're going to have to have some backup plans and yes you're going to have to do some readjustments but things will come together you just have to trust and know that your higher self knows what's going on sometimes we go we'll go through tests sometimes certain months are more difficult than other months or other weeks and so this is going to help you grow and you know what it's okay and you're going to get past this and you're going to be just fine you're going to be okay and it doesn't matter what's going on because as long as you have peace in your heart, it doesn't matter if somebody's trying to argue with you, fight with you. If you have peace in your heart, you're going to feel great. You're going to feel at peace. And you're going to radiate that out into the world. So I would say to you guys, you can do some meditation, some contemplation, creativity. You know, the key to your intuition, the key to the creator or the source or whatever you want to put, name you want to put on it, is creativity so when we get to that place where because that's if you look at what children do they create they draw they color they imagine with their toys but this is this is how they keep that peace in their heart when life gets too serious you can always go and create a painting or do creative writing or even just walking out into nature can help ground your energy so much I love you Libras so much and you have a lot of great things going on in your romantic love life as well as your career and finance this month. Yes, it's not going to come together. All these situations are not going to come together the way you expect them to, but that's okay because it's going to work out in the end and you just have to trust into that and that there's a reason why things are going the way they are, okay? I love you guys so much and it really helps my channel a lot, guys, when you hit that like button. And I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates with you or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.